Is it possible to be extravagant in 2021 with a starting budget of nothing? Let's find out. Chicago. It's a magical place. I mean, look at that river walk and this pavilion and this giant bean made out of metal and countless hours of polish work. This is going to be fun. Chicago so far is a pretty amazing place. I like this city. The culture, the feel, the history. You sense it as soon as you drive in. I booked my first hotel a couple of days ago because I needed to catch up on editing and my hosting situation in Des Moines was interrupted. I'll put it that way. So I spent the night here for a couple of nights and edited three vlogs. Guys, when you do this, if you're doing it the way that I am, that is you're dashing, you're traveling, and you're making videos, you've got to budget a whole lot more than just your money. Over the past month or so, I've realized that I've got to budget my time well, and I've got to budget my data well as well, because there are places you will go without Wi-Fi. So my plan with Mint Mobile gives me 35 gigabytes per month. It's technically unlimited, but they throttle your data after 35 gigabytes. I am currently up to 23 and I have two weeks left. Anyhow, let's get to it. I am intimidated by this place, if I haven't said that already. The parking here is very limited. In fact, when I got here to the Majestic Hotel, there was really no parking at all. I had to pull into a garage about a block away and pay for valet. That is not something that I expected. So again, I've got these little butterflies in my belly and they're not the falling in love kind. All right, the goals of today is to give 30% of my earnings to someone in need. The second goal of today is to make $150. Is it possible to make $150 within six or seven hours, even with limited parking? We'll find out. All right, here is the map of Chicago. It's a really big place, and I can't tell you how many zones are in this place, but I am currently here in the Lincoln Park Zone. Rest in peace, Chester. And there appears to be a lot of $1 to $2 plus peak pays. I'm currently in one with $1. And so this is not a bad place to start. If things get a little fishy, we'll simply move to another zone or we'll start canceling orders. I have a little liberty to do that right now. All right, let's go. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. since my last drop off and I'm relatively in the middle of the city. Interestingly enough, then again, it is almost one o'clock. So just an hour or two into my dash and I'd have to say that my gut feeling was right about this place. It is awesome. I'm not saying the dashes are amazing because the parking is exactly what I thought it'd be, but it doesn't matter because it's so beautiful here. You almost just want to take orders to look around. If you're a resident here, then that probably doesn't mean anything to you, but I'm a tourist, so I'm loving it. Definitely would recommend this city as a stop for a DoorDash tour, no doubt. Church? 
It's so beautiful over here, just like the entire city. I almost wouldn't care if my tips were that low. Just driving around this place is amazing. I haven't lived here, but I could tell that at every street corner, there's hundreds of stories. You just feel it as you drive by. Something I noticed about dashing in Chicago is that it's best to be selective with the orders that you choose. You guys may have noticed, but I do have a tendency of picking up smaller orders. Here in Chicago, however, you can't afford to do that. I mean, you could, but in a condensed city like this, you're gonna be taking a little bit longer to deliver the food. So I'm gonna be looking for $7 plus orders from here on out. I may neglect that out of boredom, but that's what I'm gonna do. Honey. going to take an order. It's been horrible. Everything switched. Don't know what happened. It's like Chicago just flipped a switch. Honey. Session update. Chicago at this point is pretty decent. I wouldn't put it way up there on the list, but it's a fun place to dash. Sorry if I said that already. Things to know if you're dashing over here. Number one, you better have your parallel parking game on because you're gonna be doing it a few times. Number two, still on the note of parking, there will be times when there's not any parking available. So I've noticed a few people do it. And I did it today myself. Sometimes you gotta bust a UPS. What do I mean by that? Sometimes you gotta park in the middle of the road, turn on your hazard lights, and then run up to the door to deliver your food. That might be freaky to some, but it's a little adventurous. You just have to pray that no one steals your car while you're out. Number three, I'm not sure if this is a thing for Chicago people, but I noticed that customers don't like to give instructions for how to deliver their food. There have been a few times now where I've got into the building, assuming that it's a house, but it's an apartment complex. Yes, there are customers that don't give me their unit number or unit letter. Fortunately, after giving these customers a call, we were able to situate everything. Number four, the speed limit in Chicago is 30 miles per hour everywhere. So you're gonna be traveling a little slow. It's definitely something to calculate as you're dashing over here because it will affect your hourly dramatically. Could be slightly, but I noticed that it's taken some time out. Anyhow, I have been dashing for 5.5 hours and I have made $119.75. That puts me at $21.77 per... That puts me at $21 and... That puts me at $21.77 per hour. All right, we said our goal was $150. We're only $30 off and it's $5.23. So 
I am pretty confident that we're gonna hit it, but we do have a drive to Indiana afterwards, so let's make this quick. How long have you been living in Chicago for? Uh, I guess we should get out of the way, huh? For like uh, 20 years. 20 years? Where are you from originally? Uh, Arkansas. Oh, I just came from there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How was it? Beautiful. I was in Fayetteville. You know Fayetteville? So what I've been doing is I've been traveling from city to city. I'm actually from Northern California. I go from city to city and I door dash, I do deliveries. And at the end of the day, I've actually been giving money to people in need. It's a blessing for you. Yeah, and it's a blessing for others as well. Have you been out on the streets for a while or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your story, man? Uh, it's not a big story, just, uh, I'll just say making wrong decisions. Yeah? It takes a man to actually admit his mistakes. Making wrong decisions. Uh, making things right now? I'm trying. Okay. But family? No, that's the problem. No family. Nobody to lean on. Ah, See, I got that's you. that's how the devil wants you in the end all along. That's right. I'm a believer, man. You a believer? Yeah. Okay. I can sense that on you. He wants to get you all along. But every day we're alive and well, all we can do is just be grateful. Hey, uh, this might seem crazy, but I actually want to give you $50. Yeah, I hope that helps, man. Please use it for good. <laughs> you know, it's always a gift. It's always a gift for me. You, you could use it on, on whatever, but man, you say you're turning your life around, man. Okay. Hopefully that'll get you on a good start. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that. You're welcome. You're absolutely welcome. Never know how God will work. Yeah. <laughs> Can I pray for you? Yeah. It's okay if I put my hand on you? That's fine. All right. Father, I just thank you so much. What was your name? Right? Anthony. Anthony, I'm Phil. Okay. Okay, Anthony. Anthony. Father God, I thank you so much for Anthony. And I thank you so much for second chances, God. That we don't have to meddle in our mistakes, God, because your son is taking care of all of that. Thank you, Lord, that through your blood, all things are made new. You actually do say it in Isaiah, that by your stripes we are healed. And it's not just for for healing sake, it's for our salvation, it's for our well-being. I thank you so much, Lord, that you've given that to us. And I thank you even more that you call us family. And I pray, Lord, a special blessing over Anthony right now, God, that you will restore all that was broken in the past. Lord, that you would fill him with your presence. God, make all things new. Yeah. Anthony, I feel like telling you, man, that you are a good man. Mm -hmm. You're a good man. Despite a lot of the things that have happened in the past, man, God trusts you. He trusts you. Yeah. So, Father, I thank you, Lord, for that, that trust. I thank you, Lord, that you have given him a, a path that this is not the end because you say that your plans and your purposes are good for him. Lead him, Lord Jesus, and bring him family, people that he could depend upon, people that he could be a strength for, and people that could be a strength for him. And wrap your loving arms around him in Jesus' name.
Chicago really lights up in the evening. Pretty much everywhere on the map turns into a $3 plus peak pay extravaganza. And so as you saw, I got a couple $20 orders. They were stacked orders, but they were still $20 orders. In the end, I clocked out at eight hours and I banked $188.85, which brought my hourly total to $23.60 an hour. Thank you, Chicago. Even though it was crazy getting to all of these customers, it sure brought some life into me. Chicago definitely is one of the most challenging places I've dashed so far. Though I can't say it tops the Las Vegas Strip. Las Vegas? You still get the crown for that one. All right, that is it for now. We're gonna go over my account here in just a little bit because I think I'm hanging on by a thread after giving that gentleman $50 and staying in that nice hotel for a couple of nights. All right, we'll see you soon. That dash in Chicago is probably one of my favorites. Now I told you I would get you up to speed with my account, but I do that in the next vlog. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch that one and we'll get straight into our giveaway. In Chicago, I made a total of $188.85. I calculated 30% of that, and that totally equates to $56.66, which we are going to give to someone in need right now. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Kimberly. Bring the third person, and they're like, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you Hi. must be Kimberly. Yes. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. This is Andrea and her sister Kimberly. I met Andrea on the DoorDash drivers page on Facebook and her story about you, Kimberly, compelled me to you. I actually really felt the Lord draw me to give you the money this time around. I'm not sure if you're able to right now, but would you be able to tell my viewers uh, what the situation is right now? Yes. Okay. Awesome. So, um, a few weeks ago, I actually couldn't think, um, well, I got COVID, and then I don't know how I got it, where it came from, or anything, so it put me out of work, I've been out of work, um, I took this COVID test, I still had COVID, the first two times I took the COVID test, I still had all the symptoms, I felt like I was dying, <laughs> really, but, um, yeah. so, um, actually, this past weekend I've been trying to uh see if I can work and just try to get back to some kind of normalcy for me that's kind of like the gist of everything so you contracted COVID a little bit ago and now you're recovering yes awesome but that put you out of work for your sister told me two weeks well it's been almost three oh three weeks that's a long time yeah. so there's a lot of money to catch up with, really, with expenses right. and all that. Right, and I have three little boys, so it's a little harder, <laughs> you know? But you can imagine. Yeah, I would love to do my part and contribute to your need. Uh, I don't know what it's like to be a parent of three, and I don't know what it's like to, to have COVID. On top of that, that must have been really, really difficult for you. So again, I want to do my part. I recently dashed Chicago and I earned $188.85 altogether. I calculated 30% of that, and that total comes to $56.66 that I want to give to you to help you out with whatever expenses that you need. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. You're absolutely welcome. I was recently given a gift, though, from a friend in Texas, real generous man, and I, I couldn't thank him enough for doing this. So he partnered with me. He gave me a big sum of money. I didn't know what to do with it. So I decided from, I think maybe a couple of weeks ago that I would actually double the amount that I would be giving from here on out. So I did the math and $56.66 times two equals $113.31. Oh, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> You're so welcome. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. You're welcome. Is that going to help you out a little bit? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's Definitely. get you back on your feet. <laughs> okay, good. I appreciate it very much. You're, You're welcome. welcome. You're so welcome. It's my That's pleasure. So awesome to do this. Thank you, Andrea. <laughs> Greatly appreciate it. And thank you, sister, for... 
you know, put my name out there. I appreciate it You're very much. You're welcome. And he prayed for you, too. Thank you. Oh, I didn't yeah. even have to ask. <laughs> Are you good with that? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, allow me to do that then. Yeah, Father, thank you so much for this beautiful family. Andrea and Kimberly both. I thank you so much for Andrea's heart, for family, that she has everyone's back, <laughs> even when they're not looking. Yeah. So I thank you for her, and I thank you for Kimberly, for her restoration is in your hands. And I thank you that you have taken care of her family, that God, it is your will to provide and to heal. And I thank you that Jeremiah says that you bring health and healing and prosperity and security to those who ask for it. So right now we're asking you for all those things that you would bless above and beyond. You say that you do above what we think or imagine. So Holy Spirit, I ask that you would do that right now. Every single penny that I give, this $113.31, I pray, Lord, that you will multiply and bless this family immensely. Lord, you are good, you are faithful, and I know that you can do this. Yeah, we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you had one word of wisdom that you could give my viewers right now, what would it be? Ooh. <sighs> Always keep going. Do it all. Just keep going. Whether it's a good situation that you have going on, bad. Just keep going. Keep going. That's good. That's what you've been doing. That's for sure. And so how do you do that? How do you do that when things get rough? When there's hurdles and barricades? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so I'm actually going to a divorce. I'll be divorced. Um, my divorce is supposed to be final on April 30th. So it's been a rough um like four years that we've been dealing with this situation so I have three little boys so I have to keep going I don't have a choice so that's why I said do it all good mm -hmm. bad just keep going with COVID coming I've had to um adjust my work schedule based off of my children's um father's uh work schedule because he coaches football so I we've always adjusted our work schedule around our children but with COVID and him having to be gone and he works for the school system I had to adjust my work schedule when he had to go into work so I ended up losing hours and he was supposed to he's like I'm going to help you out with my second job and he just was mad at me and he was just like I'm not helping you like mm -hmm. figure it out for yourself I'm not helping you so do it all I'm just constantly just kept going on at night I could work at night because there was no win for me. I would just have to try to work on weekends. And that's, you know, it's only three days on the weekend. Mm -hmm. And not even a full day because they still had school on Friday. So mm -hmm. It's just, you know, just, you, you got to stick with it. <laughs> even if you don't have children, you just, you just have to stick with it and keep going. Wow. Well, you can't stop. That advice is gold. Thank you, Kimberly. And I just want to say to you that you're a really good mom. <laughs> I mean, a woman that fights for her kids like that, that's the kind of mom that I want to have. You know, despite all of the craziness that's going on in your life, you still are choosing to stand up on your feet and fight for your kids. Fight for yourself and fight for your kids. And that is to be admired. You should know that. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, thanks again for taking this phone call. I'm actually so blessed to have met you. Um, You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you.